Welcome to Comfort Kills. It is time to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and confident with being uncertain. In each episode, I am going to introduce inspiring guests, thoughts, and ideas for us to reach our fullest potential. I am your host, Jasmine Sandoval, and together we will take this journey to challenge our status quo and be the best version of ourselves. Welcome back. Let me ask you something. Have you ever wished you had a crystal ball that you can just look into and figure out what your future looks like next year, next month, five years from now, 10 years from now? Wouldn't that be super helpful to know? Have you ever been asked that question before? That question that says, if you knew the date and time of when you were dying, would you want to know? What's your answer? I've always said, yeah, you know, as a type A personality, personality, I really want to prepare for my own death. I want to know how it is. I want to make sure my family's taken care of. I want to make sure my kids are okay. I want to make sure I've told everybody I love them. But you know, as you discuss that question with different people, it's very crazy how people have different viewpoints on that. Some people just don't want to know. If they die, they die. Well, it made me think, well, why would you want to just die? Well, because the deeper question is, if you've actually lived life to the fullest, you wouldn't want to have to prepare for all of that because you've done that every day of your life. You've you've lived to your fullest. You've told the people around you that you love them and that you care about them. You've told your you you've done your work at at your work to the fullest extent that you can you've put the best foot forward every single time and every single time you're going to be remembered for the great thing that you left behind whether it's your legacy your report your data sheet that you had to submit whatever the case may be you're going to leave behind some sort of legacy and it could be positive or it could be negative so why do you really need a crystal ball Why is it so important to you to know what your future may look like, whether it's the near future or the the distant future? Hard work is the cost of entry, the cost of entry into your future. If you put in the hard work now and you put forth those efforts now, the fruit of your labor will present itself in the future. All of this is up to you. You don't need a crystal ball in your life to tell you what to do. You don't need a crystal ball. You don't need to know your time of death and date to to tell your significant other that you love them, to call your mom and tell her that you love her, to, to do your best at work and be remembered for that. We are living in a crazy time right now. 2020 has been the craziest year in a very long time. Now, if you've lived through other different times of your life and you lived through the Great Depression in the 30s or anything of that nature, certainly you may have a different perspective. I was a soldier when 9-11 happened. September 11, 2001, I was a soldier stationed in upstate New York. Things were very different for us at that time. I was married to a soldier who was rapidly deployed. Things were very, very different for us, and that was crazy times as well. But now, with COVID-19, I have my family to worry about. I have my kids. I have my husband. I work in healthcare. I have my mother. I have my in-laws. I have my siblings. I have my cousin. I have I have so many families that I'm worried about because at any given time, that could be one of our family members, one of my family members. Maybe you've been impacted, whether it's directly or indirectly. It's scary. It's scary times. So why do you need a crystal ball to tell you what your future looks like when you can put in the work and the effort now? There's no no other way to know how that future will lay out for you unless you're the one paving it. We've discussed finding your true north, knowing where your pathway is and where it will lead you in the future. It's up to you to evolve and grow as a person. Maybe your trajectory and your, your end goal today is just to make six-figure income in the next five years, but perhaps you meet that 
six figure income in the next two years. What do you do then? Do you aim for your seven figure income? Of course, don't stay stagnant, don't get comfortable. Comfort kills, comfort kills ambition, comfort kills goals, comfort kills. Do not get comfortable, do not become complacent. Learn to change, things will change. Things don't come to you, you have to come to it. You have to put yourself out there and do the best that you can. So why do you need a crystal ball? Why do I need a crystal ball? I don't think I need it. I would like to have it. I love to plan. I want to know exactly what my future is going to look like so that I can plan for it. I, it's it's difficult to, to know what tomorrow is going to look like if I don't plan for tomorrow, right? So, but at the same time, this is your future we're talking about. We're not talking about what the weather is going to look like when the meteorologist gets it wrong and, you know, plan for the worst. In the army, we always had a motto, plan for the worst and hope for the best. We're always prepared for anything to happen, for every worst case scenario. So if we plan for the worst case scenario, we're always prepared. So always come ready, always come prepared. You don't need a crystal ball. So I'll leave you with this. One way to predict the future is to create it. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the last episode. In the detail notes below, you will find our email address. In this email, you can send us a voice memo of your most uncomfortable journey that led you on the path to your most current side hustle. Remember, if you're sending us a voice memo, you are giving us permission to use your voice memo in our next episode or call you and invite you as a guest on the next series. Keep hustling and I'll see you on the next episode.